Our subject for today is mathematics. Topic lesson number nine word problems addition and subtraction mixed problems page forty nine. Now before we begin, what are mixed problems? Mixed problem is a word problem wherein you have to carry out two operations together. Now here we will be carrying out addition as well as subtraction. So let's begin. Rohan spent rupees twenty seven thousand six hundred and fifty eight for purchasing computers and rupees sixteen thousand four hundred and seventy eight on a printer and scanner. Packing and transporting the goods cost extra. Rohan spent a total of rupees forty seven thousand. How much did he spend on packing and transport? Now, here in this word problem, first we are going to write the information that is given to us. What all is given to us? Cost of computer rupees twenty seven thousand six hundred and fifty eight. What else is given to us? Cost of printer rupees sixteen thousand four hundred and seventy eight. What else? Amount spent rupees forty seven thousand. Now, what have we to find out? We have to find out the cost of packing and transport. Now, as I have told you, here we are going to carry out two operations. So, let us see which is the first operation that we are going to do. First, we will add the cost of computer and the cost of printer. Now, after we get the total cost of computer and printer, then what are we going to do next? Then we will subtract this sum. This sum means the cost of computer and printer. What we got together after adding, that we will subtract from the amount spent. The amount spent is forty-seven thousand. So from there we will subtract, and the answer that we get that is the amount on packing and transporting. So now let's begin with the method. All right, students. Now we are going to start with the method. Twenty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty-eight is the cost of computers. Sixteen thousand four hundred and seventy-eight is the cost of printer. Now we are going to add and find out the total cost of computer and printer. Let us begin from the units place. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Carry over one. Five plus one is six. Six plus seven is thirteen. Carry over one. Six plus one is seven. Seven plus four is eleven. Carry over one. Seven plus one is eight, and eight plus six is fourteen. So four. And carry over one. Two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. So forty-four thousand one hundred and thirty-six is the cost of computer and printer. Now, after we get the cost of computer and printer, first we are going to write the amount that Rohan spent. That is forty-seven thousand. We begin with the second operation. So forty seven thousand is the amount that Rohan spent for purchasing the goods, and forty four thousand one hundred and thirty six is the cost of computer and printer that we got before. Now we are going to subtract it. Units place zero minus six we cannot subtract, so we borrow. We cannot borrow from zero, so we go to the hundreds place. There too we cannot borrow, so from thousands place. Make it less by one, it becomes six, and here we add the ten, so it becomes ten. Now we need to borrow, so we make it less by one, that is nine, and bring the ten over here. Now here again we have to borrow, so we make that less by one, and it becomes nine. And we add the ten in the units place, so it become ten. 
Now, 10 minus 6 gives me 4. 9 minus 3 gives me 6. 9 minus 1 gives me 8. 6 minus 4 gives me 2. And 4 minus 4 gives me 0. Answer. Now, the amount that we got, that is 2,864, is the cost on packing and transporting. So, he spent rupees 2,864 on packing and transport. read the next word problem. In a nursery, there were 32,140 saplings. 12,789 were mango saplings and 10,423 were teak saplings. How many other saplings were there? Now, in the given word problem, first we are going to write what is given to us. Total number of saplings is 32,140. Number of mango saplings, 12,789. Number of teak saplings, 10,423. What are we asked to find out? Number of other saplings. So which operation are we going to do first? First, we will add the mango and the teak saplings. Then what are we going to do next? We are going to then subtract this sum. This sum is the sum of mango and teak saplings what we have added. This we are going to subtract from the total number of saplings. And the answer that we get, that is the number of other saplings. So now let's begin with the method. Alright, so now we begin with the method. First, we are going to write the number of mango saplings, that is 12,789. We are also going to write the number of teak saplings, that is 10,423. Now here we are going to find out the sum of both the saplings. So we put the addition sign and we begin our addition. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry over 1. 8 plus 1 is 9 and 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry over 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry over 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 0 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 23,212, that is the sum of mango and teak saplings. Now we have to find out the number of other saplings. So we have to perform the next operation. First, we write the number of saplings, that is 32,140. Next, we are going to write the sum of mango and teak saplings that we just added. That is 23,212. We are going to subtract to find out the number of other saplings. So, let's begin from the units place. 0 minus 2, we cannot subtract. So, we borrow. Make it less by 1, that is 3. Add the tens in the units place. Now, 10 minus 2 will give me 8. 3 minus 1 will give me 2. 1 minus 2 we cannot subtract so we borrow make it less by 1 and it becomes 1 and add the 10. 10 plus 1 11. 11 minus 2 will give me 9. 1 minus 3 we cannot subtract so we borrow make it less by 1 so it becomes 2. Add the 10s over there so 11 minus 3 will give me 8. 2 minus 2 will give me 0. So 8928. 
so our answer will be 8928 is the number of other saplings so other saplings were 8928